All right, Zach, uh, match you dominate, somehow goes to overtime. Uh, you know, he gets the riding time point on you. Uh, no, going into overtime there, 3-3. Three, three. He doesn't score an offensive point on you. What's, what, you know, did you have the confidence to know you were going to get that takedown right away? I didn't know I was going to get the takedown right away. Um, I felt good that I was controlling most of the match. Um, I let him hang in there and take it to overtime, but that guy's really good at that, great at winning matches. But he was kind of coming at me a little bit more near the end, and uh, I had a feeling he was going to turn it up in overtime and kind of give me a little bit more of an opportunity. So tough weight class here, 141 for the max. You know, talk about uh, how you feel winning that weight class. You know, it's a tough stepping stone before you get to the national tournament. Um, it's right where I want to be going to the national tournament. Um, I'm wrestling well, really good guys and at this weight, and even like the guys that people don't know about, mm -hmm. we're wrestling well. So it's just where I'm at, where I want to be at going into the next tournament. You're probably going to get a top eight seed at the NCAA tournament. You have an All-American yet. Fourth time state finalist in PA, right? Yeah. You know, that, that's, that's a pretty amazing feat. You haven't really got it, you know, the All-American finish yet in college. What do you got to do to, you know, be a top eight seed and be a guy who can threaten to get in the national finals and be in that All-American finally? Well, my defense is really solid on my feet, and I just need to be able to come out and get a takedown in the first period. In a lot of these matches, if I can get a takedown in the first period, like, I don't see many guys being able to attack me and take me down. And even if they do, I mean, I'm still right in the match. And, you know, I think it's just the key is going to be getting takedowns in the first period and not letting the matches stay close and let them get away from me. Everybody talks about Stever, Port, you know, Carter. You can be right in there. You can be spoiler and, and, and knock one of those guys off. What do you got to do to be a top three, top four guy? We know you can you know, be in the top eight, but those well, guys, that's the conversation. Does, that dis does it discourage you or does it drive you? Um, it drives me a little bit. I don't mind guys like not being talked about and just being under the radar. I mean, it's one of the reasons why I went where I am, you know. I just get to work hard, win matches, and I don't need people talking about me. I mean, I do this for myself, and, you know, it's not the fame and everyone knowing who I am. So I don't mind everyone talking about those guys. And I mean, I know I can wrestle the match close with them, so it's just going to be me beating those guys instead of losing them by two points, winning by two points. Congratulations. Thanks.